Should you go to art college or an online school to learn CG and VFX? Well, stay tuned. In today's video, we will be talking about art college versus online schools. Hey, welcome to this channel. If you don't know me, my name is Nelson Lim. I'm a digital artist and technologist with over a decade of experience in the visual effects and animation industry. In this channel, I help CG VFX artists level up their mindset and skills so they can create more, earn more, and live more. So before we proceed, I do have a caveat and a couple of clarifications. So firstly, I do teach online and also in a traditional art college. So you could say I'm biased or maybe more objective in that regard, but I just wanted you to know my background and where I'm coming from. So for the purposes of this video, an art college is going to be a tertiary institution that is able to award both undergraduate as well as graduate degrees, such as a bachelor's degree, a master's, or even a doctorate. They will also mostly be in-person classes where possible, obviously with the pandemic happening, that's not always possible. And it has a physical campus with a community of faculty as well as like-minded students who are able to interact, collaborate, and work on projects together. So what is an online school? As the word online suggests, an online school is going to be mainly, if not 100%, conducted online. Faculty and students can be situated really anywhere in the world. For the purposes of this discussion, online schools will also not award undergraduate or graduate degrees. Another point of clarification I would make for the purposes of this video so that we can compare apples to apples is an assumption, basically, that both the faculty and the curricula that is taught in the traditional school or the online school are good and competent. Faculty have industry experience, they know what they're talking about, they are good at teaching, and the curricula itself is structured in a manner that is going to be helpful for students to maximize their learning as well as equip them with the necessary both technical as well as soft skills and artistic skills required to perform at a high level when they enter the CG VFX industry. Finally, whether you are trying to go to a traditional art college or if you're trying to enter an online school, you need to do your due diligence and research the faculty as well as the program. So a good way to go about doing that is to make sure that you take a look at the faculty what is their history? What is their background? What experiences they have? Have they any teaching experience? Have they had any production experience? And I'd highly emphasize a need for faculty who have production experience. But also at the same time, I want to emphasize that it's also important that the faculty have experience teaching because it's extremely important that they not only know industry practices, but they also need to know how to be able to translate that into teaching. Finally, check the alumni. You know, where have the alumni been? What kind of works does the alumni produce from the school? And what kind of jobs have alumni been able to get when they graduate? Those are all good and key indicators of a good CG VFX school. Now, let's go into the pros of going to an online school. Now, firstly, one of the advantages of going to an online school is by its very inherent nature, you are able to go to school without necessarily moving to that particular location. And sometimes if you are restricted by where you can go because of visa concerns, etc, etc, well, an online school is probably the only option that you have. And it's great to be able to access a wealth of knowledge from good online schools uh, where you may not be able to do so locally. An additional advantage to online schools is in general, they are less expensive. Now, the programs are generally less expensive because they have lesser overhead to upkeep. Uh, they don't have a physical building necessarily to have to take care of. However, the costs to the students are also in general lower. If they don't have to move to a city that requires them to pay a higher standard of living, pay more in rent or they have to rent an apartment versus maybe living in your parents' house or moving to an expensive city. So an online school can be a less expensive option for many people. Has this video been helpful for you so far? If you've liked it, please help me by hitting the like button and maybe even the subscribe and the bell so that you get notified when new content updates roll up on this channel. Let's talk about the major disadvantage of an online school. In an online school, students need to be much more self-motivated. Typically, there isn't really much of a structure and there isn't a physical time and space from which you need to attend classes. There aren't assignments necessarily that you are held accountable to. Now, there are some online schools that do provide some amount of that structure, 
but I've always typically found that students who struggle in the area of keeping themselves motivated will continue to struggle in those areas as well when it's an online situation and they aren't needing to be physically at a place at a certain time. Now that being said, this may not be a con at all. If you're someone who is highly self-motivated and you are a high achiever and you know that you're able to put some structures in place for yourself to keep yourself accountable with your progress and with your learning, this online school may actually be a really advantageous option for you. Are you creating your first FX demo reel? If you are, don't forget to download the free FX demo reel guide that I have come up with. It's a 10-page PDF and in there we, I talk about all the things that you must do and things that maybe you shouldn't do uh, when creating an FX demo reel. It's going to be, help you get more interviews and land you your dream FX job. So don't forget to download that FX demo reel guide. I will put a link in the description below. Now let's talk about art colleges and let's start off with the advantages of an art college. Well, one of the most obvious advantages of art colleges is that they are able to award you both an accredited undergraduate or postgraduate degree. And while this may not be necessarily very important in the CG VFX industry, in terms of your a good degree program is not something that is going to determine whether you get hired or not. However, it is extremely important if you are trying to work outside of your home country, say you want to do work in the UK, uh, in Vancouver, or somewhere in the USA, anywhere else in the world that will require you to uh, have a visa in order to work. It is extremely advantageous to be able to show that you have some sort of an undergraduate or postgraduate degree. Another advantage of art colleges is because these art colleges are recognized by the country and by the state, typically accredited, they are able to provide you oftentimes with a work extension after the student graduates. So an example would be in the US, if you came in as a student, you'll be awarded an F1 student visa. Upon graduation, you'll be given an option to extend up to 12 months if you're able to find work in the country. And so that is an excellent opportunity if you are looking to find work overseas after you graduate. So while I did not go to a art college to learn CG and VFX, I have found that because I was working in the industry and I had accountability, I had structure in terms of my learning, accountability because of the work that I have to produce, and people I could talk to, mentors, I found that it was extremely essential for me in terms of my growth. Now, most students I know fall into the area of having issues being self-motivated. So for that reason, I suggest you consider an art college if you find that the lack of structure and accountability is going to hamper your learning. So one of the advantages of being in an art college is really community and collaboration. Uh, oftentimes you will be in a situation where you are exposed to a lot of like-minded students who are working on the same projects. You'll be in the same classes together. You get to see each other, you get to interact with each other and you get to have touch points where you can maybe collaborate on group projects together and leverage each other's strengths. So you have someone who's maybe really interested in animation, someone who's really interested in rigging, another person who is really interested in writing, and maybe you are very interested in effects. So you can come together and work on a short or a portfolio piece. It is a great experience to be able to leverage each other's talent, but also excellent when you put it in your reel. Studios are able to see that you are able to collaborate and you're able to work with a team of other people doing projects together and that's really important as well to show that you are a team player and you know how to play in a team. Now for all of the advantages that art colleges have, they also have a disadvantage and the main big disadvantage is really the cost because of all the advantages they are able to offer you from the accreditation to the physical buildings to the actual labs and equipment that you can use as well as the faculty that they hire that are fully on board, physically located, you're able to gain access to them and talk to them in the offices. Well, that comes with a price, and that means that art programs are typically a little bit more expensive. Now that being said, these programs will differ from country to country, as well as from university to university. So do some research and you will still be able to find some college programs that are competitively priced and may just be in the sweet spot that you're able to afford. If you're looking to mitigate the costs of an art college, I'm going to suggest three options for you to look into. Firstly, I'm going to suggest that you look for a place where the cost of living is going to be lesser. So if you pay less in rent, less in groceries, less in travel costs, you'll find that ultimately the amount of money you save might actually be more than the program itself. 
Next, choose a place where you can perhaps work and study. And in many countries, they do allow foreign students to be able to work part-time while they're studying up to a maximum number of hours a week. So take advantage of that and if you can find some side work while you study, uh, that's going to definitely help offset the cost of an art college education. Finally, I highly encourage anyone who is trying to apply for a traditional art college to apply for scholarships because you never know and you'll most likely be ple pleasantly surprised by the options of scholarships that might be available to you as a student that you can apply for and if you get those scholarships, it's definitely going to dramatically offset the cost of your art college education. Hey guys, since recording this video, I wanted to re-record the conclusion because I wanted to include a couple of points that I didn't include originally. So firstly, if you don't already have a college degree and you hope to work overseas someday, then getting a college degree is an excellent option. Secondly, if you question your ability to stay motivated, then definitely pick the option that has the most amount of structure and accountability for you. Thirdly, while I kind of presented it as a versus situation, the reality is a lot more subtle than that. As a CG artist, you really want to take advantage of all the resources that are available to you. It would be silly not to. As an industry professional, as an educator, I still constantly make use of free and both paid resources online to continue my education. Finally guys, there is also the third option which is on-job training, you know, something that I did myself. And so I just wanted to highlight that that is a possibility too and we could cover more about that in a separate video in the future. But just wanting to present that college versus online schools, you know, that's not the only two options that you have. So in conclusion, I hope that this video has provided you with lots of things to think about. And if you liked it, please uh, hit the like button and maybe subscribe and hit the bell uh, so that you receive more notifications from this channel in the future. And I love to hear your comments about arts college or college versus online schools. And so leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.